Good morning, everyone. Today is February 21st, 2022, and I am at City of Hope with Kyle. I'm about to go in for my fluid biopsy. It's early, it's 5.27. I have to check in at six. They said Kyle can go in with me for parts of it, so that is nice. He never gets to go in for stuff. Yes. And this is step one in trying to figure out what's going on with the new nodules in my lung. Um, we're testing for infection, so it's just a fluid biopsy. If there's no infection, then the next step is a tissue biopsy in the near future. Um, if it is an infection, I'm assuming I go into a, a new medicine regimen. Um, We'll see. What, what? It's dark outside. Our window is... It's dark outside. I'm a little excited to be getting this done because it feels like we've been waiting forever to figure out what's going on in my lung. And I'm scared because I'm afraid to have the biopsy, but... It'll be fine. I've had a biopsy like this before, and this is the preferred way, the bron bronco bronchoscopy. Is that how you say it? We never know. Um, they go in through my mouth. A downside is my l jaw is locking. Ever since um, my immunotherapy reaction, my jaw locks like 90% of the time, would you say? Mm -hmm. It's always like, it can only open this far. And I was hoping it would open all the way today because I'm not sure how they're gonna get in there. We'll see. Oh yeah, but this this biopsy is preferred going through my mouth versus going in through my back to my lung with a needle because there's no needle popping through my lung. And I'm not awake for it. This one I get to be I get to be asleep, so yep. I'm happy about that. try filming this part because Jenny is just now coming out of her procedure it was quick fast and her doctor called super nice and said that he had originally said he was gonna he didn't anticipate anything looking spooky in there but you never know and he called and said there was nothing spooky so that's really comforting and good like no nothing that caused concern right off the bat and then um the goal was to take fluid from her lung, do like a wash is what he called it, and see if there's an infection um, in there. And um, we originally, Jenny and I, and she may say different, but I think originally we were saying, well, it'd be kind of comforting to know it was an infection, because then we'd know why her shortness of breath has been heightened and she's been feeling kind of crummy. But then he told us that these infections, if it was one, can linger for years, 30 years or something like that. So it didn't give us the best feeling. So we asked him, he's like, no, you don't really want that. So we kind of just want nothing. We kind of want no cancerous nodules and no infection. Just these nodules are in there, but they're just kind of left over from treatment or the Infinzi reaction that she had or radiation or chemo, whatever it is. Um, so the main thing that he said was that there was no spookiness in there and that the um, fluid looked pretty clean that they drained. So he was pretty happy and she's coming out of it now. Said it shouldn't be long before um, I could go uh, back in there. So I'm gonna head back up and we'll see um, how she's doing. All right, bye guys. Hello, I am out of my bronchoscopy. No, <laughs> bronchoscopy. bronchoscopy. <laughs> I sound much better this time mm -hmm. than the last time I got a bronchoscopy. Yep. Um, awesome. I don't know why. I have a cough this time, which I didn't have last time, but I think that's because they went in my lung. Last time they only went to the center of my chest, but I feel really good overall. My nurse said that I was the best looking post, post bronchoscopy patient. Not like attractive, but like doing well. And I 
I feel like I'm doing well. I'm a little, little loopy still. I think I was talking about a Christmas tree when I came out, but I'm not sure if I was dreaming about it <laughs> or, or what. I have a little, um, I have a tattoo in my lip, if you didn't know. I have a little, little cut that happened during it. No big deal. Um, they said the pain will kick in a little later just to take Tylenol and no food or drink for two hours. I might have a fever tonight. I have a nice nurse named Kyle who will take care of me. That's right. I feel a little nauseous. Tired, a little loopy, but I'm happy. Um, we talked to Dr. Waddington before the procedure and he said that this is actually called well, the bronchoscopy. Am I saying it right? I think so. Bronchoscopy, but that it's not really a fluid biopsy, even though that's what they told me. It's, he said it's more like a washing of the lung to where they take the fluid and do cultures of it. I don't know if that's um, interesting to anyone. Um, we don't know if we want it to be an infection or not. He said, you know, he said, nah, eh. So it's like, <clears throat> if it's not an infection, it doesn't mean that the new nodules are cancer. But if it is an infection, I don't know how they treat it. I didn't ask, I should have asked. Um, but he was saying, that some people can have lung infections for years. How many years did he say? Did he say like 30 years? 30 years. Before even realizing it. So if you're 65 and older, they won't even treat it. But if you're my age, then they will. And that makes me wonder if it's like hard to treat because yeah, yeah. why would they leave it on some people? Um, so I kind of don't want it to be an infection. He, he, he kind of sounded like he doesn't want it to be an infection and he doesn't want it to be cancer, which is what we're all hoping for. Um, he said he's hoping they're just nodules that'll go away or nodules that are scar tissue or something and they'll just be here stable for 30 years um, if, if they stay. So... <clears throat> um, I'm doing well. I'm so happy Kyle got to go with me. Yay. I was telling the nurse that I was happy you could be there. It's the first time. <laughs> Ooh, great. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna go get the kids. They are with my dad and I miss them. So my tattoo and my lip. Can't see it. This is beef with a heart which is ironic since I'm vegan. Was I vegan? No, I was vegetarian when I got it. I don't think I was vegan yet, but a little backstory on that. That's my only tattoo, and I got it with my best friend Melanie when I was probably 19, and we were told that the lip tattoos go away within like two years, so we were like, this is so cool, we can get a lip tattoo, and it'll go away, and then we can get another lip tattoo, and then, you know. But it doesn't go away. It actually, the letters get like, at least with mine, the letters just got bolder and uglier over the years, never went away. Um, but beef is because uh, Melanie and I, we would call each other BFFs, and <coughs> I told her that when I was a kid, I thought, oh, I am so smart. I am going to spell my letters. So you spell the letter B, B, E. You spell the letter F, E, F. I thought I was like so genius. <laughs> and so when I would like write her letters and stuff, I would put B, E, dot, B, E. No, wait, no. <laughs> B, E, dot, E, F, dot, 
beef.ef and we're like, hey, it looks like beef. And so it just turned into beef and we just started calling each other beefy and that was our nickname for each other for years. Now I don't think we ever say it, but got the tattoos. Does her say beef? Yeah, her says beef too. But now we have the tattoos, so. Beef. All right, we got the recovery queens here. Mm -hmm. There's Flower recovering from her surgery. Oh, looking good. There's Mama feeling good from her procedure. And there's Shiloh, he didn't have a procedure, but he's always a queen, or a king. <laughs> Very good. Oh, Flower's coming to say hi. Hi, Flower. She wants to show off her skills. Yeah, you're doing great, girl. She's doing really well with recovery. Doing really well. We're very, we're very pleased. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Big strong girl. <laughs> Taking care of Mama all day? When did she become a lap dog? She is now. Good girl. Love ya. This is for our, our eyes only, baby. No one's gonna see this part. It's called editing.